uh, again our data are, uh, ano ba is or are <laughs> mga datos natin ay galing sa <laughs> UIC <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome sa ating uh, uh, quarterly performance review but of course special yes. yung ating uh, uh, video for today because this will be about our uh, year-end uh, performance review for 2020. Isang napaka-exciting oh. na year. <laughs> oh, uh, tw- 2020 <laughs> or sabi na ba 2020. <laughs> 2020. 2020. Oh, yeah. 2020. 2020. Oh, yeah. Just Mario, awesome 2020, no? Looking back, mga ka I hope na, no? Na, I hope na sa mga nanonood, no, you're still okay, your families are still okay, healthy pa rin tayo. And yes, may mga natamaan talaga, of course. Uh, iba talaga yung dumaan at taon na, 20, na 2020. Nobody knew that the pandemic would happen. Of course, even before the pandemic, no, maraming mga issues abroad even na naka ng market like the US-China trade war, di ba? Mga taon na rin ang binibilang natin for that one. Tapos may Brexit pa and then, you know, inflation, etc. But, yun nga, masyadong ano ba? Di ba may video tayo ng tweets about the Black Swan event? Di ba? Yes, yeah, yes. That one. Mm-hmm. So, so, 2020 was a Black Swan event. It will yes. uh, go down in history as one mm-hmm. of the ba? unexpected uh, events uh, oh. for the century, I would say. no. Yes, yes. Kasi parang prior to this one, what? what? Ang pinakahuling talagang major, major, <laughs> di ba? Major, major pandemic was ano? Spanish flu pa, di ba? Oh. Uh, Sanay tayo sa mga financial crisis. Uh, yes. But of course, itong public health crisis that really affected uh, not just the financial markets but uh, our lifestyles as well. Uh, mm. is something that was uh, unprecedented for our generation. Yeah. So anyway, um meron tayong ano no mga ano ba to full year performance ng mga full year performance ay uh, ng mga Philippine ah uh, yan ang ayong signature na tayaw uh, Philippine <laughs> Ano, 2020 performance of uh, investment, Philippine investment funds. Ayan. Meron ka bang oh. isi-share? Um, wala. Wala. Sasabihin wala. ko lang. Sasabihin ko lang. Oh. Pero, I guess, tingnan na lang nila sa baba no, later yung, ano, yung mga uh, performance ng fund. Pero isi-share namin sa inyo yung performance no? uh, for the full 2020. So, Ang ginagamit kasi usually sa ganito is this last uh, ano talaga yung last day of 2019 to last day of 2020 okay para mm-hmm. makuha yung full year performance like most especially for mutual funds but since hindi pa lumalabas as of this time yung kasi in audit pa yan eh di ba mm-hmm. so ang gagamitin muna natin as a proxy is the last working day in 2019 and Yung nga, last working day ng 2020 as the performance, no, for the full year performance. But hindi naman magkakalayo kasi mm-hmm. makikita niya. Okay, so let's start. For the mutual fund space, sa mutual fund, sa larangan ng mutual funds, okay, mm-hmm. pag-usapan natin sa equity, okay, o yung mga stock market investment. At number three, okay, at number three is, oh, first metro save and earn equity fund at minus 6.41%. Ah, All right. Okay. Number three. Number two natin is Atram Alpha Opportunity Fund at minus 3.75%. Minus three, and, okay. Oh, minus 3.75%. And at number one is a MBG Equity Investment Fund at minus 2.42%. MBG Equity MBG. Investment Fund. Oh, this is a relatively ano, no, new, new mutual anong, fund. Anong, niya? anong performance niya? Uh, MBG is at ano minus 2.42 percent. Minus 2.42 percent. Minus 2.42 percent. So, pakita natin para at least man lang yung mga best performing. So this is the best performing yes. uh, mutual fund on the equity space. Mm-hmm. On the MBG. equity space. Kanyang MBG, MBG na yan. Nakuwers ako bigla. 
Uh, MBG, ano to we? Eh? Uh, this is from Mike Garcia. I think uh, prior to this one, he was with Union Bank, fund manager ng Union Bank. Uh, MBG Capital, okay. So, mm. relatively new uh, investment. Relatively company. new. Malit lang, malit lang naman yung mutual fund na to, still starting. So, medyo mas makahagalaw to yun know, in and out of the market. Agile pa siya. Uh, by the way, mga ka-Arki, no, may mga nagtanong, okay? Isa sa mga ka natin nagtanong, how could something be a best performing na negative? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Which is fair enough, di ba? Which is fair enough. So, siguro isipin na lang natin mga ka na ang equities market para kang, uh, kunwari lahat kayo fans nakatungtong sa stage, okay? Yung stage mo parang market, e eh, bumaba yung stage. Okay, so ibig sabihin, kung bumaba yung stage mula sa lupa, ang pinaka-best performing, yung pinaka-konti, ang ibinaba. Okay? Mm-hmm. Dahil kapag mayroon dito na isang, nag-iisang positive, medyo mag-iisip pa ako kung bakit siya positive, di ba? Yes, kung yes. lahat, di ba? Kung lahat. Lalo na kung malaki yung agwat ng positive. But as it is, alam naman natin ang nangyari no, during 2020, um, economic lockdowns okay to migil businesses to migil ng economy practically no not just in the philippines but abroad as well so the stock market really took a hit and to tell you frankly um hindi na masama itong mga minus 2 and minus 6 no dahil from january hanggang march okay natatandaan ko the market really took a nose dive as much as 40% percent mm as much as 40%. I think mas malaki pa nga yung binaba ng mga equity funds last oh. year ng 2019 no. And oh. uh, according to what I've read, of course when the stock market uh, went down ng March and April, uh, pagdating hmm. ng May, a lot of equity fund managers were already seeing some sort of recovery so biglang mm-hmm. umatong sila. That's why uh, at the end of the year, uh, konti lang yung naging uh, negative niya. No? Yes. Kasi may, nabawi dun sa nabawi. Pag, pagpaba, nung pag-time ng mga equity fund managers. Which is something na, again, an advantage of investing yes. in an investment fund because meron kang mga fund managers na nakatutok sa mm. uh, ano nangyayari sa market. Unlike if you are just investing in the stock market yourself mm-hmm. and buy right. companies directly. And hmm. kung nabisi ka during the pandemic, uh, or of course, ka. Or natakot ka, then uh, probably you missed out on the ano, on the volatility, on making hmm. money on the volatility. Hmm. So, yun. Saka, just imagine, no, from the lows of, ano, from the lows nung March talaga, I, I mean, kung talagang malakas lang ang loob mo at talagang sigurado kang after 20, 30 years ko pagagamit yung pera na to, I'm sure pumasok ka nun. I'm sure po masok ka, no? <laughs> Nag-all-in ka. Ay, kasi kung 20, 30 years mo pa naman kailangan ng pera, di ba? You would have, ano ba, from the lows, mga siguro mga plus 30% ka na siguro. Yeah, yeah. Well, plus actually, 30%. Eh, nakausap ko yung, ano, yung equity, uh, isang equity fund manager ng mm. uh, Security Bank. And mm. he says that uh, the mere fact that they are managing other people's money, uh, mm. they will not really be that uh, aggressive no na yes, that's right. kahit uh, from experience alam nila that the market oh. will eventually recover and all mm-hmm. but uh, nung nag uh, ano ba siya yung pinakamababa niya was March and April no uh, March they, 19 that was yeah. March 19 actually mm-hmm. so hindi sila nag all in and yes, uh, that's right they waited for signs that um, oh. the prices are already going up before they entered and oh. I guess Yun nga, no? uh, baka, baka yung iba dyan, sinasabi nila, ay, mas malaki yung kinita ko sa stocks this year. So, uh, of course, uh, iba-iba tayo ng risk tolerance, iba-iba rin tayo ng strategy. And uh, mm-hmm. if you are handling other people's money, syempre mm-hmm. medyo takot ka rin na i-risk kasi... Mas syempre, preno ka, di ba? Mas preno oh, ka. Kung baka mas eh. risk money. <laughs> oh, exactly. Baka <laughs> sunug- sunugin ka naman ng mga investor. And of course, they have, you know, they have their own, ano din, their own risk management din as well, di ba? Kung baka, of course, that's true, no? Uh, you're managing other people's money. Hindi mo pera yan. Kasi kung ikaw, kapag ka, 
pera mo yan, isinugal mo lahat, eh, pag ikaw'y nasunog, walang iba nga away sa'yo. <laughs> ikaw lang yan. Tama, tama. O, saka, maganda rin itong ano, maganda rin itong lesson kasi, you know, for people na nagko-cost averaging, yung bumibili lang na bumibili. I mean, yes. Maganda, I mean, like ako, no, meron din akong regular investing. So, mapa, January, February, March, April, May, June, hindi ko siya iniinda na ay, ganito yung market, umakyat, baka malaglag pa, baka mag-negative pa more. Parang hindi ko sininda kasi, again, I'm looking at like 20, 30 years from now and, you know, like one, two months, like one year of down is really not much of a difference for me. I mean, three lang. I mean, three lang. Steady lang. Uh, Alright, so next tayo, okay. balance fund. Balance fund number three is Sun Life Prosperity Achiever Fund 2028 at Oh, 1.26%. Positive. Oh, positive. Okay. Okay. Number two is Atram Philippine Balanced Fund at positive 5.45%. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, And number one? Number one is Atram again. You know, na-feature natin to. The... Hinga na. <laughs> Ay, yung dy- dynamic allocation. Oh, tama. The Atram Dynamic Allocation Fund at 7.35%. Ayan. Wow, okay. Galing, no? So, well, kung titingnan naman natin sa mga balanced fund, kaunti lang ang negative. Parang 50-50, no? 50% positive, uh, more or less kalahati din yung, ang negative. Ang maganda rin naman kasi sa mga balanced fund, mga ka-arky natin, is that while may laman siyang stock, pag bang stock market, yes, pabigat siya. Pero kung medyo inuntian mo yung stock market na investment mo at maganda yung iyong ba yung iyong fixed income portfolio then mahihila mo siya paakyat or matetemper mo pababawi mo yung baba dun sa taas ng fixed income so Naka, ayun maganda yung balance fund makikita nila yan sa performance ng bond funds kasi yes. I think, uh, talagang uh, mar- malaki ang kinita ng mga bonds for yes. 2020 so sino yes, bang number right. one natin sa uh, balance fu- uh, bond funds ng mutual funds Number one agad. Ano mo number three? I know. Sige. <laughs> oh, sige. Number three. Tama. Number three is Phil Equity Peso Bond Fund at 5.69%. Number two is Phil and Bond Fund at 5.89%. Almost six. And number one, si Soldivo Bond Fund oh. at 8.09%. Oh, ganda ha. Ano? 8 point? 8.09%. Alright. Yeah. So, um, Yeah. So, ito ang best performing na bond fund for 2020. Ayan. Mm-hmm. Eh, eh, na, nabit niya even ano, no, balance fund and equity fund. Now, pwede kasi may magsabi na, ah, oh, dapat mag-bond fund na lang ako or pangit pala equity fund. Again, walang <laughs> ganun mga kaarik. You know, these are all, yung mga ganyang mga patutsyada, ano na yan, all in hindsight na yan. Pero sa gitna ng pandemic, yung mga nagsabi na ganyan, ako takot yung mga yan. Oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> So again the the best uh, strategy is to diversify meron kang bond mm-hmm. fund meron kang yes. equities and uh, of course kung gusto mo na medyo hindi mo na monitor di magbalance fund ka para bo- best of both worlds meron ka yes. but of course That's at the right. end of the day all these investments are uh, in- investment vehicles so ang basis mo pa rin talaga dyan ay yung financial goals. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Kumbaga, I mean, uh, yun nga, kapag ka ang goal mo is mga nasa short term, medium term, mas maigi na mag bond fund ka na lang. Para at least, kasi parang equity, di ba? Isipin mm. mo kung yung pera na kailangan mo is after, kunwari, nag-start ang 2020, tapos kailangan mo yung pera mo ng 2021. Ngayon, di ba? O, wala, wala. Uh, negative ka, di ba? Pero kung, of course, di ba, may video din tayo dyan, mga ka-arky, pakihanap na lang the principle of matching, okay? Sipi mo, ah, kailangan ko yung pera in, next year, 2021, di ba? So, biglang tumama yung pandemic, eh, nag-bond fund ka or nag-money market fund ka, napupuntahan natin in a short while. So, kumbaga, masaya ka, positive ka, sasabihin mo sarili mo, Buti na lang, sinunod ko ang payo ng West Arky <laughs> sa principle of matching. Di ba? O, di ba sa'yo ka ngayon? Right. So, so, sa mga ano hindi pa nagsasubscribe ng mga viewers natin, subscribe na kayo sa ating YouTube channel and hit the notification bell para alam nyo kung ano ang magandang strategy for your investment. Yan. Right. So, Sige. Uh, ano, money, money market, market fund. Okay. Yeah, money market fund in the mutual fund space. Number three is... 
Actually, tatatlo lang naman sila. Uh-huh. <laughs> Number three is First Metro Save and Learn Money Market Fund at 1.67%. Number two, si Sun Life Prosperity Money Market Fund at 2.51%. And at number one is ALFM Money Market Fund at 3.15%. 3.5%. So again, this really highlights no mga kaarki from stock market balanced bond fund and money market fund yung principle of matching natin, di ba? So kung halimbawa kailangan niyo ang goal niyo is within short mga 3 years or 5 years better off mag ano na lang kayo, mag bond fund or mag money market fund na kayo. At least hindi kayo kakaba kaba kaba kaba. All right. Next, pumunta naman tayo sa UITF space. Thank you, UITF.com.ph for these statistics. At number three is Philippine Bank of Communications Value Equity Fund at negative. Okay, negative din siya, mga ka minus 7.89%. Wow. Okay. Pumapangalawa, si United Coconut Planters Bank, Philippine Index Equity Fund at minus 6.59%. At number one is UCPP pa din. Si UCPP Equity Fund at minus 6.28%. Minus yeah. 6.28%. Alright. So, yeah. sa UITF space, ang best performing na equity fund ay yung sa UCPP at uh, negative 6.28%. Oh. Medyo malaki, oh. no? Uh, in difference, kasi malaki. yung number one natin sa mutual fund is negative 2.42%. Pero si UITF ay negative 6.3. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So mukhang yes. mas agile at mas na advanced mag-isip yung mga mutual fund natin, mga ano, funds. Which is, uh, I, for me, it's uh, quite expected because uh, number mm-hmm. one, uh, ang mga mutual fund companies, wala namang ibang kukuha na niya ng income kundi yung mutual fund uh, performance. So mm-hmm. they really hire the best fund managers. Okay. Punta naman tayo sa balance fund. Number three is Philippine Bank of Communications Best Balance Fund at minus 2.22%. Oh, third best lang siya ngayon. Hindi <laughs> siya best. <laughs> Number two is AB Capital Trust's Capital Balance Fund at minus 1.18%. And number one is, oh, okay ah, UCPB's Balanced Fund at 0.40%. Yeah. 0.40. Yeah, 0.40. Magaling pa rin ang mga ano, ang mga mutual funds, no? Di ba? Malabas. Uh, but uh, itong UCPB, no? Siguro itong mga fund fund managers ng UCPB medyo ano siya, nakapag uh, navigate through the mm. volatility ng mas maayos mm. as compared to other UITF companies, no? Yan. Mm-hmm. Yan. And again, our data are uh, ano ba? Is or R? <laughs> mga datos natin ay galing sa <laughs> UITF. <laughs> Nag- <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> sa UITF.com.ph. Okay. Right. Punta naman tayo sa bond fund. Uh, isa lang ang lumabas eh, yung long-term bond fund. So, isa na lang uh-huh. performing long-term bond fund. Oh, ang galing. UCPB pa rin, ha? UCPB oh. peso bond fund at 6.03%. 6.03. Oh, lumalaba na. Okay. Uh, next off, yung Kala, medium. Ayan. UCPB. Next off, sa medium term bond fund, um, number one naman natin, uh, is Philippine Business Bank's Diamond Fund. Ah, parang diamond ah, so medium star term, lang. Ha? Long term yung medium. kanina. Yes, the long-term bond fund. And ngayon naman si Philippine sa medium-term bond fund si Philippine Business Bank's Diamond Fund. Yan, shine bright like a diamond. Sino yung best sa uh, medium-term na bond fund? Ah, uh, nag-iisa lang siya eh. Uh, <laughs> Naluwa mas Philippine Business Bank. Philippine Business Bank. Diamond Fund. Yeah. Diamond Fund. Diamond Fund at 3.48%. Uh, 48%. Yeah, really? shining bright like a diamond. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next, 
Oh, uh, by the way sa mga karki natin, no, baka magtan- magtaka kayo anong kaibahan na eh bangkan lang naman yan pareho, bakit may long term, long term pa, may medium term. Nagkakatalo po ito sa laman. Okay? Yung long term bond fund, well, sabi na lang nating karamihan ng laman nito, mga ang laman to mga nasa 10 years, ganyan, mga long term bond fund. Pag medium term, mga 5 years or less. Kaya ang long si UCPB Ma- ang average niyan, okay, nasa 7, si Philippine Business Bank nasa 2.8. Kumbaga, pagdating sa duration. Okay, next off, money market fund. Ito, tatlo na. Number three, si AB Capital Trust's short-term fund at 1.22%. Mm-hmm. Okay. Number two, si Philippine Bank of Communications Signature Trust Fund at 1.58%. At number one, oh, si UCPB pa rin, UCPB wow. Cash Management Fund, 1.7%. UCPB Cash? Cash Management Fund. Fund at? 1.7%. 1.07%. 1.70, ah, 1.70. Ah, 1.70. 1.70%. Si UCPB Cash Management Fund. Parang parating lumalabas to, no? Si UCPB Cash Management Fund sa mga quarterly natin. Mm-mm-mm. So, yun, no? So, sa mga ka natin, again, that is our 2020 fund performance. performance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, quick, ano, quick review, no? Uh, again, mm-hmm. sa UITF, Money Market, uh, si UCPB Cash Management Fund, ang best performing. Tapos sa medium-term bond, si Philippine Business Bank Diamond Fund. Sa long-term bond, si UCPB Peso Bond Fund. Sa balance fund, si UCPB Balance Fund. And sa UITF Equity Fund, I see UCPB Equity Fund. So congratulations kay UCPB for uh, mm-hmm. performing really well in the UITF space for 2020. Pagdating naman sa mutual fund space, ang best performing na money market fund ay yung sa ALFM Money Market Fund. And then sa bond fund, uh, si Soldivo Bond Fund. And then sa balance fund, we have Atram Dynamic Allocation Fund. <laughs> Na napaka taas no 7.25 percent yeah. mm-hmm. uh, and uh, of course sa, sa equity fund uh, mutual fund space si MBG Equity Investment Fund at negative 2.42 percent ano ba ang mm-hmm. performance ng index Renzi do you recall uh, ang index natin is ano mga nasa minus let me check ah uh, alam ko mga nasa minus seven yan eh let me just pull up the ano the Gawin na lang nating proxy yung ETF, no? Yung First Metro uh, Exchange Shaded Fund, okay? As a uh-huh. proxy for the index. Ano siya? Minus 7.2%. In fact, ang mga index funds mo, mga nasa ganun din. Mga nasa 7.2, 7.4. So, mga 7.2-ish. Okay. So, the performance of the PSEI uh, based on the FM ETF, uh, mm-hmm. is negative 7.2%. So, again, mm-hmm. anong, anong use nito? Bakit natin uh, tinitingnan ano yung PSEI performance? Kasi, Dahil, a lot of yan ang gusto mong fund, talunin. Di ba? Uh, ano, hindi talaga ibig sabihin na kailangan tayo yung pinakamaraming kinita na pera na fund. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. So, ang, ang first, first goal nila is to beat the index. And uh, based Doon sa mga naibigay natin, actually, lahat ng uh, best performing na funds mm. were able to beat the index. Even yung pinakamababa, ano ba yung pinakamababa? Yung UCPB equity fund na nag-perform mm. na negative 6.28%. This is mm. also uh, admirable, I would say, because uh, they were still able to beat the index of negative 7.2%. Na. Again, this PSAI performance is uh, based mm. on sa performance ng FM ETF natin. Right? Mm. So, yun. Yeah. So, I guess that ends our uh, yes. 2020 performance review of investment mm-hmm. fund. So, I hope meron kayong natutunan na <laughs> I hope may natutunan kayong mga bago na investment uh, strategies and investment tips uh, beyond uh-huh. the numbers that uh, we shared with you. No? And siguro to end, uh, 
a lot of people are asking are now asking mm-hmm. us no saan ba maganda mag-invest so i guess that can mm-hmm. be our next video for now mm-hmm. uh, if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and share it to your friends and then always please remember to subscribe to our youtube channel and ang uh, sinasabi nga lagi ni ni Idriel uh, <laughs> smash the notification bell para you won't miss a thing right so <laughs> any parting words uh, Renzi yeah so I guess sa mga ka-Arky no um, yun nga uh, whichever way the market goes kung alam natin kung para saan tayo nag-invest at para kailan then mas alam natin kung saan ilalaan yung pera natin at, at hindi tayo kakabahan at hindi tayo Uh, kumbaga eh, magsa-second guess at ma-adjust. Alright. So, with that, we'd like to say thank you for watching and see you again sa ating next video. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!